What is going on, YouTubers? Abdur Sound here from Android Blackspot.com right now with AT&T Galaxy Note 2, which I'm gonna use to demonstrate this review. This ROM is called. Let's go and go to about phone and find out. You probably saw it about. It's called Rootbox, and this is the official version for AT&T Galaxy Note 2. And I'm gonna include as many versions as I find in the list link description. So go ahead and find the version for your Note. Two, whichever version you got, like T-Mobile, Verizon, Sprint. If I find it, it's gonna be down there. So go ahead and check out there. And if you don't see it, then let me tell you, it's Android 4.2.1 version. So hold on, I'm trying to show you something, and my phone just went in again. Why does it go in there? Come on, there's no lock screen. But those things you saw in uh, lock screen of uh, Nexus and stuff with the widgets and stuff you can put into lock screen. This does have that option now enabled because this is 4.2.1. Other these are the application I installed and comes with. Most of them are, I installed it, so you're not gonna find it in there. But if you go to system setting, these are the settings that it appears. If you could see it's ROM control from AOKP. These are the AOKP setting and stuff. And there is a root box setting. Right here, ROM control, you got all the settings from AOKP about general UI, lock screen, power menu, navigation bar. So under general UI, I have I use some some of the features and right now I I disable every feature that I use. Because I don't want to talk to you about the features which this ROM offers. I want to show you what it offers and I want to show you how to get the feature. So first of all, I use this feature called custom career label. I'm going to put my name. APPDROID, press OK. And when you press that down, right there is my name appearing. That's AppDroid. And I do use custom wallpaper right there i'm gonna select this one for right now edit through that and see like that portion oops yeah rotate left press so save and that's what i'm gonna use as my pull down menu image right now it's gonna take a little second or so to get it installed and right there if you could see it i got custom uh, notification background and the alpha this is the like the alpha value on how much it would be transparent and stuff why am i missing words right now and so notification count i don't really do that hard series right now yes this one i do use and i that i don't really use dual panel or 180 so what I was talking about by kill button is when you long press that, that's a kill button, and uh, about 750, 763 megabytes of RAM is used. If you could see that, then you got another op options from lock screen, so you can go ahead and browse all this from that. And I use this in order to get that 45%. I don't really like that. This is what I use. Then on the clock, I put it in center because the phone is big and uh, small AM, PM and small day week. So I know what's going on. Uh, I think I'm going to get rid of AM, PM, don't so. And a short click. So I will go into alarm clock. So when you touch the alarm like this, not this one, but on the actual uh, home screen it will go there and you can set up different things for that signal right here text 92 4g it kind of looks cool like all your apple fanboy friends they ask you what is that what is that and you tell them this is a cool android and status bar i just enable all the widgets i'm just fascinated with how many widgets i get so whatever i get no matter if i use it or not i'll just enable every single widgets you never know what you're gonna be using when you need it. and close so this is like the nexus style the newest android as you can see 
gives you hotspots and all different features which is default now in custom rom so right now i don't even know why i'm telling you guys probably you guys know it then i'm gonna go into the rootbot setting and here is your pi control which i really love and this is the color style if you want to change it i don't really want to change it grants permission for that and i'm going to ch change my trigger size to big and gravity from not bottom but left on that side because this side i always try to change pages and it up here so i'm going to have it in this side as you see right there that's the Pi control. If you don't know anything about it, go out and search on YouTube. You'll probably see thousands and thousands of video about it because people are trying to like it. And that's why they make video about it. So it gives you information about what date it is and all that. Oops, it was out of focus. But try it and you will love it. That's my, that's my guarantee back to you. Expand desktop is like, and you keep pressing that and your what do you call system status bar disappears and now it's back then when you this one it's like when you turn on the screen it goes the cid off animation and hold back to kill that's awesome now lock screen target here if you want to fill up all this target i'm gonna put messaging application right there choose an application and put messaging there which is right there press ok so i need that too that's that's enough for me then other thing is you can put locks in shortcut so add plus button or just tap that plus thingy right here press amazon or whatever you want to choose and go back and here is your clock again weather panel you can enable that and display weather i don't want to whether to be there so headset if you want i have a power amp so it automatically appears when i plug in my headphone and this is the button accent and uh, hardware keys thingy and these are the mods that i use with this rom i do use different themes time to time download from uh, play store for free and use it through this right here device option is hspa and stuff so you can enable that then you can mess around with screen right here and a haptic so 25 percent 50 percent is default 75 percent so you can mess around with those from here i really don't recommend doing it but you know if you're bored enough you, you need something to do this is the rom you need because it gives you so many features that you can use it every day now let me show you my wi-fi works too so if you go to setting again turn on that press on it you can go into my Wi-Fi and it will connect itself because it remembered then you can turn on Bluetooth everything works as far as making this ROM a daily driver everything works and uh, this was just step by step not step by step like a little walkthrough review about this ROM camera works as you can see I'm gonna show you that